Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. So when it comes to project management, one of the things I'm passionate about is getting the right balance between people, process, and technology. And so whilst I work in technology, actually, I really, really want to make sure that the first two, the people in the process, are correct. So what I do is I leverage the power of technology and I've created some assets for Productive that our clients can use and different ways that you can see and utilize this bit. So this video is to show you some of the assets that you can utilize either for free via our website or maybe if you're using Smartsheet, you can leverage them into your organization as well. So let's have a look. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to our Productive website and in our resources area, we've got a PPM maturity assessment and we've got a project health check. So in this case, you're looking at an individual project. And what you're able to do is using this sheet here, you can go onto our website and you can fill out the answers for a various project and you can fill out the various levels of assessment versus the questions you've got here. Fill this out. And as you fill it out, you'll then get a score down below which tells you how you're doing for the various areas of the project, so governance, controls, demand management, resource management, um, change and continuous improvement. And what you can do is you can actually download this. If you click on here, then you can actually export it, download it, and it'll give you an Excel version of that file. And we don't get to see anything, so this is totally confidential to you. And if you want to clear the form, um, just to be sure that it is confidential on that bit. So you click this button here on the reset. And if you then save and then refresh the page, what you'll do is you'll see that the information has refreshed and it is cleared out automatically as well. So that's one way you can do it. If you're looking to implement this from an organization perspective, so you're part of a PMO, then this can be very useful as well. So let me show you a different way that you can do this within your organization. So here what I've got is I have a questionnaire and I'm gonna go into the dashboard output that you would see from here. And you've got the portfolio project health checks. And what you can see is the various questions we've asked and what the ratings are on an average level for the projects that have been done. And these are the projects that have been assessed and you can see the scores. And down below, you've got a selected number of those projects which are coming through down here. Now, what we've got is, this is the same questions that you saw a moment ago. Um, but what you do here is you fill out the form. And if you fill out the form, you can answer the questions, yes, no, etc., etc., and fill that out. And as you fill out these questions, what happens is they'll be submitted and they land into this sheet here. So there's a form that sits behind it. If we go to manage forms, um, what you'll see is there's just a form that sits behind this one, and that's the form which I opened up before. And if you submit that, then it's also set up within automation, so manage workflows. And you can see that when rows are added, it alerts someone and it sends them a lovely email like this. So thank you for completing your project health check. Here's a summary of your scores. If you want to discuss, please get in touch with um, Richard Productive and then if you scroll down I've got it set up so you can see the scores what's the project called video what's the score overall rating and then a summary by area as well so that is a really useful way that you can use this with an organization to send out the results equally happy for you to send your um, to do the assessment and um, engage with us about it but actually the the piece which we're coming back to is on your dashboard why this becomes really powerful is for your organization, you can then get that view across multiple projects and get people to assess them, or you can have an individual view um, on how that is done when someone goes and looks and understands how projects are being run across the organization. And in this view here, what I've got is I've got the average for the organization. Um, and what you can do is you can turn off various items. So I could just see the average on its own to see what's the average across the organization. Uh, you can see above here from the chart. And then I can turn on the various projects to see, well, okay, where's it overperforming versus underperforming versus average? And actually, what are the areas we need to look at in terms of what are some of the concerns on that side? So here you can turn on, say, multiple projects. I've got it set up in this view so that you can also add in and exclude further projects as well. So we could put in all the projects. Clearly, if I add them all in, then that will be quite a lot. 
you'll see now if I go back to the chart that it's oops I've excluded them all let me do it the other way around one second so I'm going to click and there we go that's what I was trying to do right so they will now all be in and you'll see that the view is a bit over the top and clearly I can turn them off one by one like this as well so there are different ways of doing that but as I say the information if you only want to have a selected number in the chart that's a way of doing it so again a really powerful way that you can have your portfolio view you can look at things and you can assess and you can actually see how it's tracking versus an average here so again really passionate about getting the right balance between people process and technology um, on our website we do have a number of um, resources on this bit in terms of the maturity assessment also if you go to the articles you can also see an article in terms of the project health check as well so Thanks for watching. Trust that's been useful. If you have any questions on looking at your maturity assessment or health check or how we've done this within Smartsheet, please let us know. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.